Hello, YTPC. Parsimonious Piper here. I am not smoking a pipe tonight. I'm in the kitchen. My wonderful wife is in Tennessee right now, helping her mom care for her dad. While she's there, I'm stuck fending for myself. Fortunately, I love being in the kitchen. So tonight, I was going to share with you one of those, those manly meals. Sorry, ladies. I'm not trying to discriminate, but meat, eh, you think guys right? So tonight I'm going to uh, show you just a, a quick and easy uh, chili coffee rubbed uh, strip steak with uh, bacon garlic Brussels sprouts. Brain freeze there. Uh, and we're going to do them all in a Ninja AF100 air fryer. So give me just a second. We'll reorient the camera and I'll show you how we're putting this together. All right, gentlemen, chili coffee rub. How do we do this? Well, we start out with one and a half tablespoons of whole cumin that you're going to toast in either a small skillet or a small saucepan over medium heat. Now watch it because as it comes up to heat and, and just starts to give off puffs of smoke, it's gonna start to, to give off that aroma. That's where you wanna stop it. You don't wanna over toast it, but there is nothing quite like cumin that's been toasted. Now, after you toast it, you're gonna need to put it in a, a mortar and grind it up pretty fine, pretty fine. All right, now I'm gonna give you a shot here and let you know what that looks like. Just a second. All right, so we have that in our bowl. What's next? Coffee. You're gonna want, I use a, a quarter cup of a dark roast coffee. This is ground fairly fine again, and I'll overlay that so that you can see. You want this to be like spices. Um, I don't I don't like my, uh, my rub for this steak to be too coarse. Now, for me, at each step, I go ahead and whisk the spices together. I think I get a better blend overall that way. Now, I'm also gonna throw in some just plain black pepper, and you can do this to taste. I like black pepper, but I don't want it to overwhelm everything else. And some salt, same thing. To taste. All right. Next, chili powder. I like to use a very dark uh, New Mexico style chili powder. Let's see if that focuses at all there. It's a dark red. This is not a super hot chili powder. It has a wonderful, rich, smoky flavor to it. Uh, you can obviously use a hotter chili powder if you want. You can use a, a Chipotle uh, chili powder if you like that smoky flavor. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna stick with my usual New Mexico. And that is uh, one and a half tablespoons. And then we throw in one and a half teaspoons, see if you can see that, of cinnamon. This just gives it a little different uh, spicy type bite profile to it that you find in a lot of Southwestern and Mexican foods. If you've ever had Mexican cocoa, you know that Mexican cocoa, the best is always spiked with a dose of cinnamon. Okay. So that is mixed up well enough. Now, we will just pull our steaks over. What do I have tonight? Uh, tonight, uh, Food Lion had strip steaks on sale, and these were just uh, little strip steaks. This is about a pound of strip steak, and I am going to just sprinkle and rub. And I like to get them well coated.
I've already patted these dry. Um, you can, if you want, drizzle them with olive oil. Um, sometimes with an air fryer, that does in fact help you get a little bit of crispiness if that's what you're shooting for. Uh, in this case, I'm not. So I'm gonna just dredge those a little bit. Let's pull that back up. And since I stuck my fingers in there already, let's grab a spoon. Get a little more rub on this back side. How do those look? Okay, those look pretty good. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, the Brussels sprouts, what did I do with those? Well, I'm not gonna show you the whole prep on those, but I will show you the finished prep. I took enough Brussels sprouts to cover the multi-layer uh, grill lift that's uh, that comes with the uh, the Ninja, and I split them in half, stemmed them, split them in half, and then I tossed them with a mixture of one uh, tablespoon of olive oil and then some uh, uh, garlic powder. Uh, oh, and let me find it. This is just an incredible ingredient. Peppered bacon salt. Woohoo! I get my salt, my pe pepper, and my bacon all in one convenient little package, and I don't have to slice up a ton of bacon to get the flavor. So I just toss them in here, and we will lay them out on the grill. And you know what? I'm not going to do that right now. What I am going to do is I'm going to preheat the air fryer. That's noisy. So we're going to do that off camera. Uh, I'll preheat it at the air fry temp uh, 390 uh, for about three minutes uh, in order to get it up to temp. And then we'll throw everything in and get it started back in a minute. Okay, we're all preheated. So let's get things laid out in the grill. Now this is hot, so 390 degrees. So be careful, you can hear them sizzle. One pound of steak is just about the limit for a four quart Ninja. And I'll have to arrange those just a little bit quick rinse here. Now you'll see I laid my cut Brussels sprouts out on the grill that goes on top of this. I'm going to just set that in right on top and slide her into the air fryer. Now I chose a meat and a vegetable that both take about 10 to 12 minutes. The the Brussels sprouts take 10 to 15 minutes. I'm willing to let them be a little bit crunchy because the steak takes anywhere from 10 to 20 and I like my steak on the rarer side. So I'll, I'll give them 12 minutes at 390 and we'll get back to you and show you exactly what that looks like when it comes out. Just a minute. All right, one of my sweet boxers is photobombing me back here, but I'm not gonna chase him out of the kitchen right now. So I gotta tell you, I actually stopped this at 10 minutes, just so I can check the temperature. It's always a good idea to use a good digital thermometer and stick it right there. That was the thickest cut of meat was over here. That is at 148, which is perfect for me. So, you can see the Brussels sprouts got all crispy. I'll plate this up, let you guys see how it looks. All right, folks, so you can see I have it all plated up. Here's what it looks like up close. Man, those Brussels sprouts are nice and crispy. I've got a crust on the outside of the steak. Let's dig in, see what it tastes like. Nice and pink on the inside, just, mm. Everything you want from a piece of 
perfect beef. Mm. And the Brussels sprouts, if you like roasted Brussels sprouts, these are tasty. Soft on the inside, not hard all the way through, but got the outside nice and crispy. Light bacon flavor. It's fantastic. Mm, mm, mm. My mother would be so ashamed for me talking with my mouth full, but I was just too excited to help it. Tonight I'm pairing it with a good German beer, Spaten, Oktoberfest. It's a Meritzen. It's kind of malty and not terribly sweet, but it goes really, really well with a meal like this. And with that, I'm going to tell you, get out of here. I want to enjoy my steak.